Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits. Field effect transistor. Field effect transistor. FET. Field effect transistor. This is the symbol of uh, FET. It is N channel and it is the P channel. FET is a three terminal device. It is a three terminal device. That terminals are gate, drain, and source. Gate, drain, and source. Here the gate is similar to the base of BZT, and drain is similar to the collector of BZT, and uh, source is the similar to the emitter of BZT. Here the FET is voltage controlled device. Very 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 important. Field, uh, field effect transistor FET is a voltage controlled device whereas uh, BZT is a I already told in the BZT class BZT is a current controlled device BZT is a current controlled device okay and current in FET, see, current in FET is uh, due to majority carriers only the current in FET is due to majority carriers only that's why it is called unipolar device FET is called as unipolar device very very important and here only drift current exists there is no diffusion current here only drift current is exist there is no diffusion current okay and FET has very high input impedance of uh, the order of 10 power 6 10 power 6 ohms okay if it has very high input impedance in the order of 10 power 6 ohms okay once again what is a FET FET is a three terminal device those terminals are gate drain source gate is similar to the base of the BJT and the drain is similar to the collector of BJT and the source is uh, similar to the emitter of BZT and FET is a voltage control device uh, voltage control device in FET is uh, due uh, the current in FET is due to majority carriers only so it is called as unipolar device and here only drift current exists there is no diffusion current okay and FET has a very high input impedance in the order of 10 power 6 ohms coming to the advantages of this FET advantages of FET are very important it, exhi it exhibits no offset voltage at zero drain current and hence it is used as a DC chopper. FET is used as a DC chopper. That means DC to DC converter. And it is relatively immune to radiation. It is relatively immune to radiation. And it is a unipolar device. It is a unipolar device. It has good thermal stability. And it has low noise. If it has low noise, very very important. If it has no low noise. Okay. Coming to the disadvantages. Disadvantage of fit is very very important. The main disadvantage of fit if it fit has small gain bandwidth product. Fit has small gain bandwidth product. Okay. And coming to the classification of FET, FET is divided into two, uh, two types that is JFET and MOSFET. JFET and MOSFET. The JFET is, should be operated in depletion mode only. JFET is operated should be in depletion mode only. In case of MOSFET, it can be operated both enhancement and depletion mode can operate both enhancement mode and depletion mode coming to the drain and the transfer characteristics of uh, FET this is the FET we connected the input supply is VGS output is uh, taken at uh, this battery is output is uh, VDD and the output is VDS and this is the IDS and drain characteristic drain characteristic uh, this, this is the characteristic between VDS and ID, VDS and ID. This is the drain characteristics. This is the transfer characteristics of FET. Here, when uh, here the voltage when VGS, this VGS equal to zero is called uh, pinch of voltage. 
the voltage when vgs equal to 0 is called pinch off voltage that is denoted by vp vp the current becomes almost constant after this uh, pinch off voltage the current becomes almost constant after this pinch off voltage and the output voltage output current ids equal to ids into 1 minus vgs by vp whole square 1 minus vgs by vp whole square and uh, here uh, uh, when vgs equal to vp when vgs equal to vp the ids equal to zero ids equal to zero that means vgs equal to vp that is cancelled then one minus one equal to zero so ids equal to zero then the fet behaves a open switch then the fet behaves as open switch okay and the coming to the parameters of the fet the very very important parameters of the fet dynamic or drain resistance small rd dynamic or drain resistance small rd equal to delta vds by delta ids delta vds by delta ids at uh, vgs equal to constant and transconductance gm equal to del conductance means i by v that is delta ids by delta vgs at vds is constant and coming to the amplification factor mu mu equal to amplification factor that is delta vds by delta vgs at id equal to constant at id equal to constant resistance r equal to v by i that is delta vds by delta ids conductance is nothing but i by v that is delta ids by delta vgs and amplification factor mu equal to delta vds by delta vgs delta vgs and the relation between uh, among this uh, uh, mu gm and rd mu equal to rd into gm mu equal to rd into gm okay some important points regarding to the fit are the operation of fit involves flow of majority carriers only flow of majority carriers only that's why it is called as unipolar device fit can be used as variable resistor so the fit can be used as variable resistor it also can be used as dc chopper DC chopper. J fit act as a voltage control current source. J fit act as voltage. Already I told fit is a voltage control device. It is a voltage control current source. J fit can be cut off within the help of uh, gate source voltage. Gate source voltage that is VGS. And fit is equal to pentode. Fit is equal to pentode. And source follower is uh, fit is. Uh, Called, uh, called as source follower when it is uh, in a common drain configuration common drain configuration okay and next topic is transistor audio power amplifiers transistor audio power amplifiers what is power amplifier amplifier means which strength which strengthens the weak signal which strengthens the weak signal here power amplifier is used to increase the power level of input signal it is used to increase the power level of input signal and uh, power amplifiers are classified as uh, class a class b class a b and class c class a class b class a b and class c coming to uh, this uh, power amplifiers this is class a class b class a b class c in case of class A, collector currents flows at all the times during the full cycle of the signal. Collector current flows full cycle of the signal. In case of class B, it is uh, flows uh, only uh, only positive off cycle. The collector current flows in class B amplifier. Oh, it is only positive off cycle. Here in case of class B, collector current flows more than half cycle more than half cycle in case of class c the collector current flows less than half cycle less than half cycle in case of class a it flows full cycle uh, in case of class b it flows only positive half cycle in case of class a b more than half cycle uh, the, in case of class c it is less than 
half cycle it is less than half cycle coming to the conduction angles of uh, this uh, power amplifiers class a conduction angle is 360 degrees class b 180 degrees and class a b 180 to 360 degrees and uh, coming to the class c the conduction angle is less than 180 degrees less than 180 degrees and coming to the efficiency coming to the efficiency class a amplifier efficiency is 25 percent with resistive load and 50 percent with transformer load 50 percent with transformer load and coming to the class b amplifier efficiency is 78.5 Coming to the class A B efficiency 50 to 78.5 percent. Coming to the class C it is greater than 78.5 percent. Greater than 78.5 percent. Coming to the operating point in case of class A, the, the operating point is center of the load line. Center of the load line. In case of class B, it is on x-axis. X-axis are exactly at the cutoff point. Exactly at the cutoff point. And in case of class AB, uh, the operating point between center of load line, center of load line and cutoff point. It is center of load line and cutoff point. In case of class C, the operating point is below x-axis. Below axis are, that means uh, it is uh, below cutoff point. And uh, in case of class A, maximum dissipation occurs when input signal is zero. Maximum dissipation occurs when input uh, signal is zero here in case of class B crossover distortion occurs in class B crossover distor over distortion is occur in class B and coming to this class AB a class AB preferred in push pull amplifier push pull transistor stages to minimize crossover distortion minimize crossover distortion uh, in case of class C this distortion is high uh, distortion is high okay and that means maximum efficiency is class c maximum distortion is class c amplifier and reduction in non-linear distortion due to push pull amplifier operation reduction in non-linear distortion due to push pull amplifier operation and crossover distortion occurs in class b amplifier to overcome this class a b is used in this class a b the crossover distortion will be minimized okay these are the power amplifiers power amplifiers okay once again uh, the here the collector current uh, flows full cycle in class a only half cycle in class b and more than half cycle in class a b and less than half cycle in class c conduction angle is 360 180 180 to 360 less than 180 efficiency 25 percent uh, with uh, resistive load 50% with transformer load and in case of class B it is 78.5% and class AB is uh, 50 to 78.5% and class C is uh, greater than 78.5% operating point here is center of the load line it is uh, at, uh, uh, exactly at the cutoff point or x axis it is between center of load line and cutoff point and in case of class C it is below the x axis or uh, below the cutoff point okay and crossover distortion occurs in class B to overcome this class a b is developed class a b is developed okay okay friends thank you in next video i will discuss remaining parts of uh, electronic devices and circuits